To scan the Achilles tendon and calf muscles, the patient is still in prone position with the foot in a relative dorsiflexion. So placing the transducer on the calcaneus, we can see the calcaneal bone right here with already the fibers inserting to the calcaneus. Please observe the uh, thickness of uh, the Achilles tendon uh, that you can see clearly the fibular pattern and also that the bone is regular. Slide the transducer from medial to lateral in order to have every fiber visualized. In this zone right here at the end of the calcaneus, uh, underneath the Achilles tendon, uh, there is the bursa, this is the retrocalcaneal bursa. Sometimes you might find some physiological fluid, uh, uh, so that wouldn't be a problem. What would be pathological is that you see a large effusion. So we can see the thickness of the Achilles tendon right here and following the Achilles tendon to uh, proximal, then you will see underneath the Kega fat pad. So this is Kega's fat pad. And here we can see the flexor hollicis muscle. So if I would wiggle her a uh, big toe, a uh, first toe, then you can indeed see that that is the flexor hollicis muscle. Uh, sliding more towards uh, proximal, um, we can see that uh, at one point the Kega fat pad is becoming smaller and uh, ends right here. The Achilles tendon is becoming uh, thinner right there. And this is the zone also where we can see this dark muscle right here. This is the soleus muscle flowing, inserting into the Achilles tendon. And once again, underneath the large flexor hollicis muscle now moving. And then we can follow the soleus and the gastrocnemius aponeurosis to proximal. So this would be the soleus muscle and this is the gastrocnemius aponeurosis. And at one point uh, when we are doing this, then you can see that now here there will be a muscle becoming larger and this is the uh, gastrocnemius muscle. So once again, uh, soleus muscle and then we can see now the fibers of the medial gastroc muscle inserting right here in this epimysium layer. This is the musculotendinous junction of the gastrocnemius, a spot where lots of muscle tearing is involved, and then it flows right into the gastrocnemius aponeurosis again. Um, and of course, the same thing can also be done to the lateral gastrocnemius. So let's go to the lateral side. And then at one point, we will also see the, gastro, the lateral gastroc muscles right there. So going back to the insertion of the Achilles tendon, so soleus muscle inserting into the Achilles tendon, and in the end also inserting right here in the uh, calcaneal bone. Uh, we're going to move the transducer to a short axis view, and then uh, we can see the Achilles tendon also in short axis. So first scanning the calcaneal bone with on top of it, we can see the, uh, the Achilles tendon. And uh, yeah, on either side, you will have air, so you cannot avoid that. Uh, so make sure that uh, you have a nice oval appearance of the Achilles tendon in screen. So this is the oval appearance in cross section uh, in transverse view. So look at the echogenicity of the tendon, look at the thickness of the tendon, maybe also the cross-section of the tendon, and follow the tendon towards uh, proximal. At one point, you will see that the soleus muscle is going to start right here. So this is the uh, soleus muscle. So now going back, you see that it is um, disappearing again. So this is, the, again, the musculotendinous junction from uh, the uh, uh, yeah, soleus muscle and Achilles uh, tendon to uh, soleus muscle and the medial gastroc um, uh, nemius aponeurosis.